Okay, in this video we're going to talk about photosynthesis, maybe the most important equation that takes place for life on Earth. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants and some algae are going to be using sunlight to make foods. Not necessarily always sunlight, but pretty much any sort of light. So, light is going to enter a plant, carbon dioxide is undergoing as well, and water is undergoing, and the main thing is it's going to be making food. Not only their food, our food as well. We cannot make our own food. We are not autotrophs, but plants are. So they make their own food, and that food is glucose. So here we see light, carbon dioxide, and water entering, oxygen and glucose being produced. Here we can see another version of the same thing. Light, CO2, and water. That's my ingredients. The food that is made is called glucose. The formula is C6H12O6, and it is carried around the plant by little tubes called phloem. We'll talk more about those in a minute. There's xylem, which carries water, but the glucose and the other nutrients that we make, that's going to be carried around by phloem. Remember, the main thing that we're looking at here is glucose. It's all about making that. That's the fuel source for it. And of course, the phloem, those are the tubes that are going to be carrying it once it's being made in the leaves. Now it's up to the phloem to carry it around to the rest of the plant. But we have to start with capturing the light. Plants use a pigment called chlorophyll to more or less capture the light and use it for photosynthesis, and they make that carbohydrate that we just talked about, glucose, C6H12O6. Chlorophyll is the main ingredient here. It's the thing that actually turns the light into the food, and it happens to have a green color because green is what it reflects, so it gives the plants a green color. But our chlorophyll found in chloroplasts is going to be our glucose synthesizers. Sunlight's going to enter it, and it's going to be making those sugars that the plant needs and we need, of course, for everything. This is going to take place in the chloroplast of plant cells. So we have these chloroplasts here that are filled with the chlorophyll. They are gobbling up the sun like mine, 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 taking that and using that energy to make the glucose. Here you can see some computer versions of what a chloroplast actually looks like. And of course, here you can see an actual plant cell packed full of chlorophyll and chloroplasts gobbling up the sun. But of course, not every part of a plant is green because not every part of a plant is exposed to sunlight. The only things that's actually going to have chlorophyll and chloroplasts, well, those are going to be the leaves. Those are those solar collectors that are out there. The rest of it don't need to be green. If you've ever pulled up a plant, its roots are white. They don't need to be green. There's no need for them to capture the sun's light. Once that sunlight enters, then photosynthesis and glucosynthesis can begin. Photosynthesis, as I mentioned, light, carbon dioxide, and water go in, and then, of course, sugars and oxygen are produced. Here's what you need to know. Here's the basics of it. Simplified photosynthesis, light gets turned into glucose. That's why it needs the light, so it can make the glucose. Remember, my glucose is going to be like a fuel or going to be like a gas for this particular plant or whatever is going on here. The full equation, which you absolutely need to know, is, of course, starts with light and ends with glucose. But in between, I also need carbon dioxide, CO2, the stuff that you breathe out, plus water, this is why we give plants water, and it's going to be producing, in addition to glucose, oxygen. Remember, oxygen isn't the point. It's not making oxygen for us. It's more or less making the glucose, and the oxygen is like it's poop. It's the waste product. It doesn't really need it. But light Carbon dioxide and water are the reactants. That's what I start with. And I'm going to be ending with the products of oxygen and glucose. So I start with the things before the arrow, and I end with the things after. And this takes place in the chloroplast of plant cells. If you only know one thing about photosynthesis, know this slide, or even the bottom half of this. Light plus CO2 plus water makes oxygen and glucose. These are my reactants. These are my products. And it takes place in the chloroplast of plant cells only the most important thing. Let's take a closer look at those ingredients that we have there. Now, copy this table into your notes. So I'm going to start with the three reactants, light, water, and carbon dioxide, of course, and I'm going to end with the two products, that C6H12O6, glucose, and oxygen. So light is going to be captured by the chlorophyll and the chloroplast in the leaves. This is how it gets into the plant. Okay, you've got those solar collectors, the chlorophyll grabs it, and the chlorophyll is stored in the chloroplasts. Water, of course, is going to be entering through the roots, but it's going to be going up through the plant through this stuff called xylem. Here we can see we more or less have a representation of a plant, and the roots are going to be pulling the water up through the xylem, and then once we have the sugar, that's going to move through the phloem. More on that in a second. 
and CO2. We can't forget that gas. That's going to be entering through these little holes on the leaves, usually on the underside of the leaves, called stomata. And if you look at a leaf underneath it, there you got this tiny little thing. almost looks like this, I don't know, parasite mouth or something that's going to open up. Here you can see a 3D electron micrograph of another one there. You know, a whole bunch of stomata underneath there. And then here's a, another representation showing how both carbon dioxide enters and water and oxygen is going to be weaving out through that, through transpiration. But the whole point is that these little mouths that can open and close depending if we need to pull gases in or out. My glucose, C6H12O6, that's going to be exiting the leaves and it's going to travel through the phloem to the rest of the plant. Xylem carries the water, phloem carries the nutrients and all the other stuff, including the glucose I just made. So here we can see that's the xylem with the water. This is the phloem with multiple directions going in there with my nutrients. Xylem carries water up, phloem carries glucose, usually down, but at least away from the leaves. And then finally, the oxygen, also being produced there. That is going to also exit through the stomata in the leaves that we saw a moment ago. So carbon dioxide is going to be entering them, water and oxygen is going to be leaving them.